From this little symbol here, we're able to work out the atomic number, the mass number, and also the number of neutrons in an atom. Let's actually start with lithium because it's probably a little bit easier. Remember, the mass number is the larger of the two numbers. So lithium has a mass number of 7. An atomic number, number of protons, is 3. Okay, so the mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So if we know we've got 3 protons, 7 take 3, that means we must have 4 neutrons. So, let's do aluminium next. I'm going to come back to hydrogen a little bit different. Aluminium. What is the atomic number? The smaller number of the two, it's 13. The mass number is 27. Okay, so if we're working out the number of neutrons, 27, take 13, we have got 14 neutrons. This one's for you. I want you to have a go at argon yourself, so pause the video and have a, work, have a go. All right, so argon has got a mass number, remember that's the bigger of the two, of 40. And it's got an atomic number of 18. Okay, so the number of neutrons is going to be 40. Take 18, that means we've got 22 neutrons. So let's have a look at hydrogen, it's a little bit different. It's got an atomic number and a mass number, both of 1. So we know it must have one proton, so therefore, it's got no neutrons.